Hey guys, I'm going to quickly try to walk you through downloading the new Garth album or catalog. I know a lot of people have had a lot of trouble. I did as well. It took me two hours to figure it out how to download and add it to your iTunes since it's not part of iTunes and on a Mac it tends to fight you on it. Um, I know a lot of people who have trouble and it took a couple days to figure it out. Um, the solution is incredibly easy and um, I'm going to show you how to do it. It'd be great, but here we go. Uh, obviously, you purchase the music, add it to your cart, um, put in your cart info, you, down, you purchase it like you would anything online. Um, once you do purchase it, it's going to send you an email. When you get that email, it's going to look like this. Um, you click download, and it will download. Once it does download, it tells that it has this G, the Garth G, and it says double click underneath it to get your music. Um, if you double click that using Chrome, it's not going to work uh, on a Mac. Uh, I went to contact us and it said uh, Chrome doesn't work, use Firefox, but I'd already used my code to download so I couldn't re-download. Um, found another way to use Firefox, still it wouldn't work. Um, the only way I've been able to find how to add it to your iTunes is by that window that has the G in it, cl clicking and dragging that G into your iTunes and letting go. As simple as that. Now, uh, to keep it clean, you may want to open a new playlist. So you've got an empty playlist, name it Garth or something, and then in that playlist, imagine that being here, you click that G, you hold it and you drag it, you let it go over here and it's going to start loading all of those if you bought the whole catalog. <clears throat> excuse me, in about three minutes you're going to have every Garth song loaded in that playlist. Loading it in that playlist is also going to add it to your library. You've now got Garth on your computer. Um, you can add that to your phone by plugging your phone in, going to your music and manually adding the new album or Garth as a whole uh, to your phone and then syncing. Problem is if you use iTunes Match like I do you run into another problem that is that they don't own the license to be able to stream Garth's music so you want to be able to manually add it but while, while using iTunes Match you can't manually add music. So it took me quite a while to figure this out but I was able to go into your phone settings so the app the settings app on your phone, go down, scroll down to where the music app is, click on that, scroll down and you'll see iTunes Match and you very likely have that switched on. Go ahead and switch that off. You'll easily be able to turn it back on later and get all your music back. It'll take a couple minutes to connect and download them all again or give you access um, and initialize it all, but it'll work. So turn it off and then eject your phone, plug it back in, sync, whatever you got to do to refresh this page because it's going to still say iTunes matches on. Now I'm not going to do this, I'm just going to tell you how it works. Once you've done that and you've refreshed this page and iTunes matches off, it's going to give you the, the ability to manually add movie uh, music. I'll show you what that looks like here uh, using movies. When you manually add something, you just click manual sync the movies and then you pick which ones you want um, in music it's the same way and you would pick Garth and that's going to manually add Garth to your phone um, hit sync so that it applies the changes and once your phone goes through the full syncing process and backing up and it's done eject the phone go back onto your phone go to the settings app go back to the music app go down to iTunes Match and check it back on. Um, now, you may want to first go into your music and play a song or two or, or click on each one and make sure they're all there and they're working that you didn't miss clicking something um, before you turn iTunes Match back on. But it will leave Garth in your music. Um, and by turning iTunes Match back on, it'll take a minute to initialize and get it all back but it's going to leave Garth on your phone and give you access to iTunes Match again.
Right, so it solves the problem. Now, the thing is, you still won't be able to do it on your Apple TV. Um, your iPad won't have it, access to it. You'll have to do the same process with that and any other device that will let you do it. But it does get through. Uh, it's a loophole to be able to get Garf on your device and still keep your iTunes match. Um, and then first what I showed you was how to get Garth on your iTunes playlist to begin with because every time I try uh, unzipping the file and adding it to, to my computer it would not it would freeze the computer and crash um, I, I did it a dozen times uh, doing trying different things and, and apparently the Garth website doesn't know that this is an option of, of how to do it uh, I didn't get any good answers from there uh, no disrespect uh, I hope this helps you enjoy some really good music. The album is awesome. Uh, every bit as good as his old stuff. And I uh, love having him back. I'm sure you do as well. That's why you're watching this. Um, and I hope this helps some Garth fans because we're family. Love y'all. Bye-bye.